At approximately 9.05, the doorbell rang. Then what? Then what? I told you. Tell us again. Tell us again. I went to the door, I opened it, I discovered Mr. Tate on the doorstep unconscious. I don't know how much longer I can stand this waiting. Don't worry, Mother. I'm sure we're going to hear soon. You'd think they'd have a pinball machine or something around here. <laughs> really? Hey, a person can be sad and still play pinball at the same time. Uh, Mrs. Tate. Mrs. Tate, your husband is still in a coma. Oh. And we won't have the tests back for at least 24 hours. Oh, the poor dear man. And you can't do anything until then? Well, I'm afraid my hands are tied. But there is someone here who just might be able to help. It's this lad right over here. Uh, me? I don't understand. Well, you see, Mrs. Tate, there's still very little we know about the power of love. Just a few minutes ago, your husband spoke his son's name and seemed to draw strength from it. And I feel that if we brought this boy to his father's bedside, he just might mean the difference between life and death. Well, yes. Certainly, by all means. You must be quite a human being to have touched another person so deeply. Thank you, sir. This way, Arnold. <laughs> uh, doctor! Doctor, I believe there's been a slight misunderstanding. Oh. Uh, uh, this is Billy. This isn't Arnold. Oh. Arnold was a rat. Well, personality aside, I still feel if we could locate this Arnold and bring him to Mr. No, Tate. no, that's not possible, Doctor. Benson killed Arnold. All right, if you don't want to kill him, put your hands flat on the wall. I had him pegged from the start. There was something about his eyes. And of course, the color of my skin's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Arnold was a real rat. A pet rat, a rodent. I killed it with a broom. Oh. I still don't like those eyes of his. There's nothing. I don't like your entire body. <laughs> Look, Mrs. Tate, why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll call you as soon as I get the reports back. Thank you, Doctor. Sure. Uh, when you came upon Mr. Tate, did any of you see this man lurking in the area? Goes by the name of Dutch. No, 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 no sorry. Uh -uh. No, Thank no. you. No. Just your team. Wait a minute. Let me see that picture. Why? I've seen this man. You have? Of course. It's Benito Mussolini, you fool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, officer, do you think I might have that? Just in case I see somebody suspicious in the neighborhood? Okay, sure, but be careful. He's considered dangerous. Thank you. I'll get the car and meet you around front. Thank Billy? You. Thanks. Major? I am. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> New York University. Don't tell me somebody in this house is actually thinking of going to college. I am going to go to college. <laughs> Does the college know? <laughs> you know, it may come as a shock to you. Things have changed. For instance, uh, they no longer use quills and parchment. Quills and parchment! <laughs> I really don't care to discuss this with you, Elaine. <laughs> Aren't you going to feel awfully out of it? No. Why should I? Because you're so old. <laughs> Elaine, I may not be 20, but I'm not a dinosaur. A dinosaur! <laughs> I don't know. If I was your age, I wouldn't go to college. Probably wouldn't leave the house. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you let me? Why didn't you let me kill her? I want you. <laughs> Ma, Ma, you don't have to kill her because we got a plan. Yeah, it's a, it's a great plan. Oh, good. What is it? A knife? Poison? What? <laughs> We're gonna kill her with kindness. You're gonna kill her with kindness? That's right. And I 
think it's time to get started. You see, what he's going to do is not let her dress, eat, sleep, nothing, because there isn't anything good enough for her. And she can't get mad because it's all done out of love, you see? He's going to kill her with kindness. If that doesn't work, can I just kill her? Sure. <laughs> So, is it working? I don't know. It's a little too soon to tell, but she seems very confused. So am I. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, you ready so soon, babe? Is this all right? Oh, that's more like it. You're sure? You are sure that you like this? It looks almost as good as you. Don't wait up. Yeah, I'll have a nice time. Thanks. I'm sorry, but it didn't look as good from the back. <laughs> oh, doctor, are you sure? Oh, yes, this is definitely a lesion of the brain. You see, it's the type of lesion that can totally alter a person's behavior. For example, a completely mild-mannered person might suddenly turn violent. Well, if that's the case, then surely a man in his condition couldn't be held responsible for his acts. Oh, no, certainly not. Any behavior induced by the lesion is, of course, entirely beyond his control. And as I understand it, there has been a recent unpleasantness. Is he referring to the murder or the stock fraud? <laughs> well, whatever the problem, legally speaking, he is suffering from temporary insanity. And this brain scan alone is medical proof of his condition. Well, what can be done, I mean, about the lesion itself? We could do nothing and perhaps the attacks will subside. But on the other hand, he might become permanently violent. And lastly, he might just drop dead. <laughs> now, on, on the other hand, we could operate, but you see, he might not survive the operation. Or he might come out of the surgery alive, but with the personality of a codfish. <laughs> Well, it's nice to have so many choices. I just wish one of them were good. Y yes, well, well, this decision is... Uh, thank you. It's yours and yours alone, Mrs. Tate. And, uh, I'm afraid that there is simply not much time. Oh, yes, I understand. Of course, it would be much easier if this were a routine surgery, but this procedure is far from routine. It's the kind of surgery that requires an extraordinary combination of knowledge, skill. Not to mention courage and stamina. Yes, well, uh, Jessica, I think if you had an hour or so alone with your thoughts, then maybe... Yes, sir, if I could pull this one off, this would be quite a feat. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, yes, well, that's neither here nor there. Well, I... I guess you'd better go ahead. You want me to go ahead with the surgery? Yes. Oof! <laughs> You've made a wise decision, Mrs. Tate. This will be good for everyone concerned, and the chances of your husband pulling through are very good. And I, of course, will be launched into stardom. Ooh.